Hi, I'm Robin, and I'm making a documentary about Crohn's. My mom has Crohn's, so throughout this documentary, you'll be hearing her story, and you'll be hearing stories from my family about what it's like to have Crohn's and what it's like to live with somebody with Crohn's. Hi, my name's Susan Saw, and I have Crohn's disease. Crohn's disease is an inflammation of the lower intestine. It makes it difficult to digest food. Some people say that Crohn's is caused by stress. Well, it really is exasperated by it. Was I under stress when I was diagnosed? Yes. My daughters were 13, 12, and 8. I was getting my master's degree at night with courses. I was planning a double bat mitzvah. Working part-time, president of my kids' elementary school PTO. I am so proud of her. She is a champ, and I just love her so much. I actually got depressed because Crohn's disease is chronic, and I found out I was going to have this the rest of my life. It took a lot of doctors, I would say four at least, for her to finally be diagnosed. It was misdiagnosed as hemorrhoids. I went through a hemorrhoidectomy, big operation. My first memory of my mother having Crohn's is us being out, her constantly having stomach aches, not feeling good. Watching her crawl up the stairs, and I was just confused. I was like, Dad, why is Mom crawling up the stairs? Watching her fill her pill case every morning and take her pills. On Crohn's, there's a ton of different medicine that you have to take. So, you know, I was beyond surprised when I saw the horse pills that she had to take every single day. Went on prednisone, and that allowed me to eat. It gave me quite an appetite, and I actually started to put on a lot of weight. My whole face blew up, and I had what they call that moon face. And I was on another medication called Flagyl, and that made my feet tingle. At the very beginning, I was very resistant, and I would just eat whatever, and then I'd get really sick. So I lost a ton of weight. When I was planning my daughter's bad mitzvahs, I actually had to buy a dress in a size 4. Everything was hanging off me, and I was normally an 8. Food is no fun for me. It's like I dread every meal, and I have to cook for my family meals, and they all like salads. and. It's not the easiest thing. It could be a lot worse. A lot of food she couldn't eat. Chocolate, beans, nuts, vegetables, any dairy, no milk, not a bowl of cereal, cream cheese. Gum has caffeine in it, so I'm not supposed to chew gum. And coffee, I haven't had a cup of coffee in a really long time. You don't want to eat things in front of them that they like. It's changed my life because I have to wake up extra early in the morning. When you go shopping, you have to shop for certain food, extra toilet paper. Wherever I go in a store or a restaurant, I'm instinctively looking for the bathroom. I mean, I do the injections every week, but it's really working, and it's allowing me to start introducing some other foods. You feel bad when they eat things that you know is not good for them just because they have a craving, and then they end up paying the price for it. Once in a while, I'll go crazy and have, like, a Reuben, which is, like, really bad. Every year, the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation puts on a um, walk. It's in Boston, and the family has come with me every year for, like, 10 years. I've been able to raise a lot of money for the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation. And if you have any interest in learning more about Crohn's, that's a great website, ccfa.org. You know, we would support her. We would do the Crohn's walk every year and really just take that day for her. Um, I hope she knows how much we really do care about her and how, you know, supportive and proud of her we all really are. Really, I just wish that there would be a cure for Crohn's disease so that I could eat what I wanted to eat and not have to take all these drugs. So I'm really glad that Robin is making this documentary to build more awareness about Crohn's disease. And thank you for listening to my story. Bye.